Inventor Couch is a USB operated supercomputer. Finest Evil Corp technology is in it from the cloning machine to the uh, other thing. Don't sit there. I think we need more coffee! Season two, episode one. That's right. And you, you beat everybody. I did. They were tough competitors. Okay, and this is why he's sitting on the couch. I watched season two, episode one, and all of his competitors were like this. Yeah, I'm gonna win. I don't win. I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna beat you in the face. I'm gonna turn you into pudding. And they're gonna feed you pudding my dog. They're gonna fight my dog so I can beat you again. And when my dog goes, I'm gonna leave you there. That's right. Not him. No, he was like, he was like, it's an honor to be here, and yes, sir, and he shook everyone's hand after, you are a true champion. Thank you, that means a lot. So what was the most challenging part of the course? I would have to say when I got to the hill, things got pretty rough. I started feeling very heavy and very negative, but I fought through it. I kept thinking to myself, I can, I can, I can. And I got through it. Okay, now, when I, when I watched the video and they, they showed the walkthrough, that wasn't a hill. That was a wall. If anyone hasn't ever tried to go up something that has a slope like this, you, you can't walk up that. Especially when they just made the hill and it had loose gravel from the desert all over it. Yeah, I was, I was, I was watching, I was praying you were going like, to like claw your way in to, to get up because... I wish I could have, but it was so packed it in there, like, it was slippery when I would do that. It, I would just slip. It felt like I was going in reverse when I actually was moving forward in the video. Now, the other obstacles, they weren't so bad. No, the other obstacles was perfect. I had no mistakes at all. Because in the preview, they were like, they, they had this giant um, thing of water. They're like, it's 36 degrees. I'm like, oh my god, he's going to love that. <laughs> it was like the best thing ever, just drink it. <laughs> So for our uh, friends on the other side of the glass, uh, who all, including myself, want to look like you, what do we have to do to, to train to, to get in your shape? Well, we have to go to the gym every day. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that from my computer? So if there were uh, five workouts, and I was only going to do five workouts a week, uh, what would I do to, to get the best gain? Number one gains, sprint. Sprint <laughs> for at least 40 feet, 50 yards, something like that, four times, three, four times. And that should be a, pretty sufficient. Just run in a straight line? Yeah, just run in a straight line. Nothing, you know, too complicated. Okay, number two. Number two would be squat. Because legs burn the most calories because they're the biggest muscle. Squatting is going to make the biggest difference. Okay, three? Three, I would say do some high jumps or some box jumps. Because it's also legs and it takes a lot to do that. Okay, four. Burpees. Burpees are good because you get knocked down, you gotta get back up more that more times than when you go down. So you always be making an improvement there. Okay, now uh, here at Artist Entertainment, we all know the sound of Titan doing burpees in the hall. But on the other side of the glass, everyone might not know what a burpee is. Here's a burpee. You drop on the floor like this, you go up like this. Clap. And that's one. That's one. So it's down, up, jump, clap, repeat. All right. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Number five. Number five. I've been thinking, after climbing that rope at Broken Skull, pull-ups is going to be my fifth. Pull-ups. Now, 
can do pull-ups this way, this way, wide arm, this way, what's, what's best? Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger says doing it this way is best for the lat, and also to gain more gains on your wide, you would go behind the head. Now, I have a, a pull-up bar in my computer room, and the rule is if you're going into the computer room, you have to do five on the way in. Sometimes I hang, like, do you ever see the scenes in the movie when, like, they're, like, on a helicopter and they got, like, one hand and they're grabbing somebody else? I hang from that thing with one hand. That is not as easy as it sounds. No, if somebody not. else was down, <laughs> no. It's going to be like, I got you! Ah! Here's how you can incorporate these burpees and sprints and stuff into your normal uh, gaming routine. Yeah. You need a Pepsi, and you know that game's going to start. You sprint as fast as you can to get the Pepsi. But you don't grab the Pepsi, you grab the chips first. You sprint back, you sprint back to get the Pepsi, you come back. Four is good enough. When you get to your desk, you put the stuff on. When you put the stuff on, you go down, you do that burpee. Then you hop back up. And you do two of those burpees. And then, uh, tell them. Well, you're going to be late for the match. I will do a very special push up that only I can do. And I haven't seen anybody else do it. How many of them can you do? I can do a few. Make it like four or five tops. All right, if you can do five, we will go into prize round. Special push up that I don't even know what it is for prizes. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. I should have to try this push up. So you push up and you went all the way. In the air, a 180. Did you use your legs? I used everything I had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! You got this. Ah! Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> got him. Oh, you do it and send me a video. I believe in you. You got this. Come on. Ah! Two more. Last one. Match me. Good five. All right. <laughs> Your fries. These are unreleased. Brand new. Ooh, nice. Uh, this is the good guy one. Wow. And this is the bad guy one with all the villain uh -oh. characters. You must now choose. Good guy or bad guy. <sighs> like a true champion! So you, you conquered the course, you, you defeated Skull Crusher, Broke Face Mountain Place. <laughs> What's next? American Ninja Warrior. You're trying out for American Ninja Warrior. I submitted my video. Let's have our fingers crossed. It's great. So if you get on the show, um, do you think you're going to be able to beat it? I think I'm going to have a great time. I'm going to have fun. I don't know if I'm going to beat it, but either way, I'll feel great about it and I'll feel like I've won. See, again, guys, this is how a champion talks. He is so humble. He is such a kind guy. Do you like video games? I love video games. You play video games? Yeah, I do. What do you got? On Xbox, I have Call of Duty. Okay. So you play any fantasy, like, RPG games? I used to play Zelda growing up, and it sounds kind of like Zelda a little bit. Okay, kind of. Am I on the right track? Um, if you were going to be a professional of those fantasy characters, what would you be? Hmm. I'm going to guess Warrior. But maybe Berserker, maybe not, not Berserker. Maybe, uh, I don't know, what class would he be? Do I what have would... to be human? No. I don't think I'm gonna be human. Okay, what are you gonna be? Something like a dinosaur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dinosaur warrior. Dino warrior! Yeah. <laughs> Dino warrior class! <clears throat> would you like to be immortalized as a character in our game? I would love that. Okay, you're going to be the first dino warrior. I'm trying to think of dinosaurs that, that we can sleep. Macadon? Macadon. <laughs> Macadonus. Velocimacker. <laughs> Velocimacker. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with Velocimac. That sounds great. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, That's a little we can too do cheesy. Yeah, yeah. Terramac. Terramac actually sounds pretty cool. Terramac. 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 That's perfect. Okay. Terramac! The dino warrior!
All right, guys, uh, we have hidden uh, the character, the Dino Warrior Terramac, in Adventure Quest Worlds, somewhere. I'd love to give out a weapon. That'd be my top choice. Okay, Broken Skull, weapon. Dave, we need a weapon! So, I saw a video of you deadlifting 500 pounds. I did that just recently, too. That is two and a half of me. What's your, what's your ultimate goal with, with all this? Well, not really to deadlift too much more than 500 pounds, because where do you need that in life? I guess to lift a car off of a, you know, person, I guess that's the only thing I can really think of. But besides that... Uh, hey, hey, Mac, yeah, yeah, it's Arctic's. Um, we, uh, we need a car lifted off a person? Yeah, again. So do you have, like, personal trading goals? Oh, yeah, just to be the fastest... Best looking and most humble. And beat up cows! <laughs> beat up couches in my spare time with my giant biceps. Sorry. <clears throat> Don't worry, we'll cut all the bad stuff.